Dear children of God, greetings of hope. In the process of knowing St. Ignatius, now we try to trace the origin of Ignatian charism. In order to know the origin of the charism, we need to know the person of St. Ignatius. It is dialectic. Knowing a person here means not merely knowing the biodata, but tracing the qualities of St. Ignatius present in us and ours in him. Thus, rewardingly, we will come to know our own charism. Charism is a gift of the Holy Spirit. We come to know Ignatian charism through the spiritual exercises and his autobiography. In the spiritual exercises, he presents the principle of life as active dimensional to praise, reverence and serve God the Creator. And at the end of the exercises, he invites us to incubate or, in other words, to contemplate, to attain God's love. This also depicts his charism as dialectic movement from service to prayer and prayer to service. This is loving service of God. What could be its origin? Inigo had a special devotion to St. Peter. Who is Peter? To Ignatius. In the episode of Peter and Cornelius, Acts chapter 10, Peter declares that I am only a human being. God has shown me that I should not call anyone unclean. When Ignatius was seriously ill on the eve of the feast of saints Peter and Paul, he received Holy Communion and he had a vision of Peter and started recovering his health. And Inigo's life resonates with the same spirit as saw Peter loving service for all. After his recovery, Inigo decides to be a pilgrim, but his brother tries to change his mind. So he takes him around the ancestral house, he explains about their coat of arms. It has seven bars on a gold field and two wild grey wolves flanking a cooking pot. Outwardly, it shows their bravery and generosity, but the real meaning is a warning to all descendants of the Loyola family because they see the world as not all men are noble, most are loyal only to the hand that feeds them. And so, without the pot, wolves will overcome us. This wrong notion of generosity and the fear of insecurity, which is prevalent even among us, does not influence Inigo. In contrast to this, Ignatius nurtures the charism of loving service throughout his life. For our reflection, am I able to find myself in St. Ignatius and Ignatius in me? How do I resonate myself with the charism of St. Ignatius? Thank you.